Hi everyone, Arjun of Pitch today and there will be some noise in the back. The kids are <laughs> uh, here and there is also thunder. Let's hope it doesn't uh, interrupt uh, too much. So I'm working in this sketchbook and I've got some uh, acrylic paints here. I've got some purple, red, red, orange and yellow. And I'm going to start by just putting them uh, on my page and each time I'm going to take uh, two colors I've just taken from the two darker ones and that's what I'm going to uh, put on uh, the edges of my page because I want them darker and I'm just alternating between the two shades and it really doesn't matter how you put it if you can also use a brayer I just picked a, a paintbrush really doesn't matter and you don't even have to make your edges darker I just like it like that so as you can see I'm alternating between the two and some of this uh, mixes and create more shading more shades of uh, color like so so okay I've got my edges I've still got a paint on my brush so I'm just keeping at it and adding what I have to the page like so and now I'm dipping into the orange and again some of it mixes I didn't clean my brush it's really a, a quick a process of covering my page it's a, only the start for a my background now I'm uh, into the yellow and again alternating and picking up more of the colors I've got just so I will have all kinds of shades in the back and I think I'm going to put just a little bit more of the red so there won't be a complete block of yellow and orange here and I'm dipping and just adding in several places really really doesn't matter most of it is gonna get covered it's just going to pick out from a, the next layer yeah okay so this needs to be completely dry before I continue so I'll be back I'm back so first layer is dry now I want to stencil all over it and I'm going with the opposite <laughs> Uh, colors I've got some indigo and I've got green oxide and turquoise and mint really doesn't matter just a uh, blue green and I'm going to start with this stencil here let's see if it's in place something like that and I'm going to take a makeup sponge and just start maybe I'll do this so the spiral uh, won't uh, be in the way. Let's see. Seems like it's in place. Okay, so just because it this is the edge, I'm starting with the darker color. Again, you don't have to. I just like it like that. And I'm uh, each time I'm taking paint, I'm dabbing it, so there won't be excess, like so. 
and there is not enough light today but I tried to um, to turn on the overhead light and the glare is just not good with the camera and not good for me so I just hope that uh, this will be good enough so right now I'm just alternating between the colors I'm letting them also blend into each other I really don't care I just don't want the stenciled image to be all the same color I uh, don't like it I like that I have some all kinds of color I think it looks more uh, organic and less uh, flat and I don't know so that's just how I go about it and as you can see just switching between the colors not cleaning uh, the sponge just letting everything mix and here is the thunder and I'm also adding from the darker color that I used here on the edge also inside again so I will have interest and all kinds of colors and sometimes when you have like a all kinds of yellow and orange underneath you need to uh, and you go the other way on top of it you will need more a uh, paint and just until you get what you want okay so I've got this I'm not quite satisfied with how the stencil uh, worked there is spillage but I will uh, let it be <laughs> and continue so I want all this also with some uh, stenciling and details again this is just the background and I'm taking this I can also stamp if I want it just another layer to my page and again alternating between the colors like so and switching colors So I'm going to keep at it just to fill the whole page with this uh, kind of detail and I'll be back. I'm back. So lots of stenciling and there is going to be another one right now. <laughs> so I've this is finished. I only uh, took a little bit of the yellow acrylic paint and just added a, a few details because I had the spillage uh, with the stencil if I had a Posca pen with a uh, yellow or orange then I would probably get in and do more details but because it is the background I'm not bothering with it uh, as I said more stenciling on top of it and this is a stencil I made uh, of feathers and I've got gold and I've got some uh, bronze here I'm starting again a makeup sponge I'm taking a little bit of the bronze and start I'm starting to dab it here and again I'm using the bronze and uh, the gold just so I have variation 
when I'm stenciling. I don't like to have the image in the same color all over. So I'm starting with the bronze to the left of my air feather. And moving to the gold. Again, not uh, changing the sponge, just keeping with the same thing and letting this blend. And again, if I want to have a precise image or that it would pop, then I need to make sure that I have enough paint on top of all I've got underneath. So if need be, I will just uh, come again and do another layer. Another way to go about it, if you are really concerned that it won't show, then first stencil with gesso and then uh, the color that you want on top. The gesso will give you a good base to work on. I, I don't know if you can see but I see the um, here um, the turquoise is uh, picking through so I'm just dipping into my paint again and adding because I don't want them picking. I don't know how much you can see of the metallics. That's the problem with filming something like that. Okay. And well, something got stuck. So I want to, uh, this is only the start. I want to do, I think, at least one or maybe uh, two, two more uh, feathers, I don't know. So I'm going to keep at it and then I'll be back. I'm back. So I decided only to stencil the two feathers and not uh, add another one here. And I, it really is not as prominent as I thought it would be on the, my page. I hope you can see the metallic and so I decided to take a black permanent uh, marker and just go around my shape like so so to give it more definition of course I've waited for this to dry So I've got my two uh, feathers and I want here uh, this from this stencil it says positive life and instead of stenciling with acrylics I'm gonna try and use the permanent pen in the hopes that it will give me a more accurate uh, result here. And the good thing about this marker, which is again from the cheap store, uh, is that it has a two ends. One is uh, thicker than the other one, so I can uh, get into small details with the other end. It's a very uh, simple permanent pen. It's uh, it says that it's for a CD and DVD, uh, so it's very cheap, even in the cheap store. So I'm just 
tracing through the stencil and if need be I will uh, once I lift it if it needs any more working on then I'll do it without the stencil okay so it says positive life and well it seems fine doesn't seem like I need too much work on it maybe a little bit here the S doesn't look quite like an S okay so I've got this and the only thing I still want to add to my page is a little bit of splatter so I'm taking this uh, black acrylic paint very little of it adding a little bit of water and a fan brush I think maybe just a little bit more water and some splatter not too much just to tie everything in with the black marker that I have and the writing that I've done here with black Yeah. Not a lot of it. Yeah, this is it. That's my page. I'm going to bring it closer because uh the light as I said not so great so you can see what I've done here. And I think that maybe I I will uh, do some correction. Whoops. Uh, to my uh, page where uh, I had spillage from uh, the stenciling I will look for <laughs> something like I had a Posca pen to make the lines like here it's not really um, necessary but uh, just a finishing touch so this is it I hope you liked it Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.